everybody, this is Doug. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about creating a default page load rule. Now, you can go in and actually set some global variables in the analytics extension configuration. However, you'll have much more control if you actually create a rule that handles all of the default stuff that should happen on every page. And so that's our recommendation, best practice here. And I'm gonna go into rules. We don't have any rules yet. I'm gonna create a new rule. And so we're gonna call this default page load rule. Now we can change the name of that and I might in just a minute, I'm gonna show you a few things on creating this. Now, when you're creating rules and hopefully you've had a chance to kind of learn a little bit about launch and you know about rules, but we're gonna run through this anyway. Now the event that we're gonna add, when do we run this rule? Click on add. And we are going to go to the event type all the way down to the bottom and we're gonna to go to DOM ready. So this is basically at the bottom of the page and this is the event that is deemed a best practice for loading analytics at the bottom of the page. Now, the other thing I wanna show you here is this order. Now what the order does is exactly what you probably think is which order do I run these different rules in? What if I have two rules that are on event type DOM ready? which one runs first and which one runs second. So we have this order here and by default, everything is set to 50. So we just need to set it to a higher number if we want it to run last. It'll start down at one and it'll move its way up. So what I'm gonna show you here is that on this, I suggest setting it to something above 50. So right now I'm just gonna pick 60. I could have picked 51 whatever, I'm just gonna suggest that you run this after 50. Because this way, we're going to have a beacon sent in on this rule, and we're gonna to wanna to set other things before we run this rule and send the beacon. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that right now and say, keep changes. Now we're gonna go down, and I don't need a condition because I want this to run on every page. So I'm gonna leave that blank. I'm gonna go down to actions, and we're gonna click add. And for the extension, we're going to choose Adobe Analytics. And the action is to set variables. Now this is a great time to refer back to our SDR, to our blueprint. So let's take a look at that. And we have a number of these things that are gonna be set, well really just a few, on the default page load rule. So when we go up to the events, we're gonna see that event one is our page view event, and we want that to be set on every page. So we're gonna go ahead and set event one on our default page load rule. Okay, so we scroll down a little bit, set event one. Great, very easy. Now, we're gonna set the page name, and we're gonna set the page both into evar1 and also into the page name variable here. So both are gonna be set, of course, in this default page load rule. And so they're gonna be pulled right out of that data element that we created called page name, same thing. So we can just run back here and we can go up to our evar. And did we say evar1? evar1. So we're gonna set evar1 and we're gonna set it as, and we click on this icon and it'll give us our data elements and we choose page name, select, okay. Now we also need our page name variable right there. So we're gonna set that to the page name as well. Boom. Great, all done with that. We jump back and the other one we're gonna set is a site section, default page load rule, site section, default page load rule. So we're gonna set the site section in evar2 and in the channel. So we go back and we say we're gonna set evar2, which is up here, Add another evar2 and set that as the site section select. We go down and we have the channel right there and we are just going to set that to the site section as well. And now that's done. So if we look back here, we've done both of these. We've done both of those and we've set our page view event and that's all we had for our 
default page rule. We have some other page rules, some other rules that are going to be on page load. So for example, you can see this search page rule. We're only going to run this rule when there's an actual search. So we're not going to run it on every page. And we could potentially, if we were only setting the query string parameter, because we could say, look on every page and see if it's set. But at the same time, since we're going to set a search event, we only want to set it when there's a search. So we're not going to set that one on our default page load. So that's pretty much it for this one. Again, if you have other things, you probably will, in fact, you might have other things that you're going to set into a number of other EVARs. So you might have other ones to set here. In any case, this will run on every page and send that data into our analytics. So I'm going to hit keep changes. Now, I did say it was going to send it in. It's not going to send it in yet. That only sets the variables. We're going to add one more action down here. And we're going to choose again our analytics extension. And this time we need to send a beacon. And this is where we decide are we going to send a page view beacon or are we going to send what we call a custom link or an s.tl, which is not a page view. In this case, it is a page view. So we want s.t to run. And so that's great. And we can just keep changes. And now on every page at the bottom, DOM ready, it will set those variables and it will send in the beacon. And that is our default page rule. And so we could, if we wanted to, for example, set this to like DOM ready 60. And that will give us some more information in the list to help us understand when it's going to run. So I'm going to go ahead and set it like that. And we will save that to our library and build it. And this is done. So now we're going to be able to go in and see this hit happen. And we'll do that in the next video.